Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope you all having a fantastic day. I hope you guys are smiling and enjoying your day. I know this is a weird of a theme park video because obviously now it's officially the end of the theme park 2022 tour. Well, theme park tour 2022, excuse me. So now today we're going to rate from the top, from the best to the worst of the theme parks that we've been to. So we're going to put a number one spot. Actually, no. Let's start for the last, the last one, the very last one. So in, in the play, in the playlist that I created, they're not in order. So they're all in multiple different, different um, theme parks in each of the list. So last, for, but in, in last place is is pure theme is pure theme park. It's because it's a short theme park. And it's got some green, like, it's got, like, green buttons, and it's got a purple button to respawn it, and a green button to start it. I would like some staff to operate it, if you know what I mean. I, also, I need some staff to operate it. I can't just have, like, us operate it uh, ourselves. That's what's bad about it. If we need us to operate it. We can't just not operate it ourselves. Like, that's a little bit stupid, if you ask me. But... So anyway, yeah, that's the last of the list. All right, in the next spot is Roblox Point Remastered. So Roblox Point Remastered has got a lot of theme into it, a lot of theme into it. I'm not saying it's got like, like it hasn't got much theme into it. It's got a lot of theme into it. It's got a Western part. It's got a future part. It's got a pirate part. So it's obviously got like water, sand, we've got some future with like lights and all that. And it's got like a western thing, we've got wood texture of like the rides, and one of them has got like uh, like a wing one, I don't know what it is, I specifically how I meant to call it. But um and, and the point about this, when you know when you come off the ride at Universal, you get to walk down yourself out of the ride. Like what you meant to do. But into this one, they teleport you at the front of the ride again immediately once you've popped off you've been teleported immediately i mean what the hell like they don't even get a chance to walk out of the ride like what why like you they need you need a chance to walk out the ride that's the whole point of a theme park you don't just get dragged like boink hey, you're, you're over there now i mean if you don't have enough room for a path to put down just make make room you have a ton of room i saw there's there's lots of room that you can make a lot a lot of paths in but that's what the bummer about it is. Just the teleportation sucks. But anyway. Now the next spot is Blocks World. Is technically is has also got another like theming towards this. It's pretty much like the same thing as the other one. Um so yeah, it's pretty much got like uh, different types of um parts of like western future pirate again so pretty much is basically the same thing but um it's like this one has also got teleportation but like twice as worse like when you have to you have to walk so far to get into the ride like <laughs> this has got escalated amount of walking like the, like they're giving us characters exercise just to get to the blimmin ride to sit down I thought like the exercise is the ride, you know what I mean? The ex your exercise is going on to the ride. Like, that's the amount of exercise you could possibly do. <laughs> but, according to them, you need to walk for so much longer to get to the ride, and you have to pay your, um, 10 Robux just to run. Which I feel like is a bit more daft. A lot of, a lot of advertisements go on this. Like, on the corner of your screen, it appears up saying, oh, you have to, if you'd like to buy this, buy that. I'm like, no, why would you want, like, want to do that? And I'm saying there's less advertising. I know you want to do um to get people like Robux and all that, but do less advertising and, be, and just surprise by people like, oh, this is what signs have, and then and this is what you could do, and then people might buy it. But if you do less advertising, that's what you, that could be possibly happening. But if you keep doing so much, hardly anyone's going to buy anything. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm going to say about that. That's why that, that's the reason why it's in that spot today. So now next one is movie theme park in one place. So yeah. Anyway, so that's why that's why it's done over there. So if you guys like involving like movies, TV series, or anything involving DC, Marvel, uh, multiple things really, multiple things. 
if you guys like in like movie related things like what Universal does technically but this has like more of them more definitely tons of more of like movies TV series related stuff involving stuff like where there's Mission Impossible Star Wars uh, Captain America statues and all that you can take pictures with there's literally so much stuff involving this movie theme park going on it's absolute madness so so I mean the part the reason why is in this place it's just because um well it's, it's it lags all the time and it crashes loads of my footage all the time and also the part when you have to always click a button when you have to hide your username all the time I don't know why I have to click click a button to remove a username like you could have just removed it yourself we don't like we don't need to see everyone's name I mean I think when you highlight it with like your own arrow and then you can see someone's name appear on top that could be the smarter way to use your username nowadays so now we've got all three left so third place Roblox Tower Steam Park because they haven't probably finished their construction yet. When I when I walked into um, to Smiler, they said there's a li it's literally a big sign of words when you walk into it um, towards the ride. Not actually in when you walk into the entrance. When you walk into the actual ride, when you wait for the ride, you see a big sign with the words on it saying it's still construction. If it's any lag, this one might happen. So they'll just let you know. So that's why if it was properly finished and probably edited, that would probably work. And then, and that could have been on a second place. Plus, even though if it and if it came into a second place as well, the most annoying part when you have to always leave the game, and then now you can go to a different ride. So yeah, if you want to go to a different ride, you have to leave the game, then click on a different ride. Which that that's what really really buggers me. You have to really like click on a ride, then you're on it. And then after you've done that one, leave the game, come back on it, click on another ride, then go back on, and then go on that one. And wish that. <laughs> Not good enough. They don't need to put like um, return to home page or something, and then they can just click on another ride, not just leave game, come back on, leave game, come back on. Which that's a load of stupid cack right there. But I mean, it's very good. But congratulations for third place anyway. Second place between Universal and Thought Park. So, second place is at Thought Park Resort. So. The reason why it's on second place is because they got teleportations of um, uh, different types of rides. They don't put it into one specific big island as normal as real life Fort Park does. When you can just walk in, get to a ride to Stealth, Nemesis, um, other rides like uh, Tidal Wave. And uh, yeah, I said so there's so many more rides that you can possibly go on, and then yeah, you have to be teleported by it. And also the best part about this as well, when I remember when I mentioned about the buttons, which really was annoying by the other theme park, by the pier theme park, was um, was that reason? Because look, there's a, the, this one has staff operating as well. They have proper staff operating, putting down the restraints on stealth. And also on Detonator, yeah, that was the ride I was going to say beforehand. So yeah, Detonate on Detonator, starting the ride, fixing the ride, make sure everything's all good for everyone else to be coming on it. They always let them know if it's delayed. That's what's good about it. They got really good, some good customer service going from that on a game, which is really, really good. So as you know now, first place, congratulations to Universal because Studios. They have um, uh, non-staff operating rides. They have always updated a lot of things. They got lots of interesting stuff every single day, construction-wise, um, event-wise. Like it's madness. And then they got so much people going it and all the time. And I'm always getting spotted over there. And I'm, uh, well, I'm not voting in the first place because I get spotted. I'm not saying that at all. Um, it's just how like the theming and stuff. I know they always teleport, but like they, you, but once you exit the ride, you get a nice walk around to another place, which I kind of like about it. But then, and then some other rides don't have teleportation at all. Like most of the rides on here don't have teleportation when you walk on there. And, and, and then, yeah, they have less advertising as well. So much less advertising than any other theme park they can possibly have. So, like, Four Park doesn't have much advertising either. And also, Universal doesn't have much advertising either. So, that's why Universal goes in first place. So, congratulations to Universal Studios for being first place. What a day! What a day! Ooh, thank you all 
for joining my theme park tour 2022. So now it's officially the end. I'm going to have a nice long break of um, me doing Roblox videos for quite a while or, some, or any other type of videos. I'll be um, just relaxing now, enjoying life for a bit, concentrating on other things. So now that's all out of the books. So thank you all for the support, for making this happen. I appreciate it for all you subscribing and liking these videos. So anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and hit the bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new video. And follow the social media down below. Follow me on Twitter if you guys want any more information about any other theme park related stuff. Please let and also if you guys know any more information, please let me know in Twitter and then I'll upload another video uh, a little bit later on because obviously I'm going to be having a nice long break. So then, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys on another video after my long break. Alright, take it easy guys.